Hi, I'm Clark Gregg, and this is GoldenGlobes.com. I know. So much is coming up at the end of the season. There's um, everything gets questioned. Every agent has their own way of responding to the situations that are poised, and it's the stakes are huge right now. And there's there's not a second wasted in the writing in the cinematography everything that's going to happen from now on is so significant and you know it's one of those at any moment everything could be destroyed so uh, that's all I can say anyone who's seen a trailer for Captain America the Winter Soldier knows that there's problems within shield it's the same shield as our show uh, there will be events that happen on our show that also raise questions about shield it's been going on actually for several episodes and you know Coulson can't get Nick Fury on the line he doesn't know why he's not getting the truth we've just revealed that Agent May is reporting to somebody and Coulson doesn't know about it there is betrayal afoot and that's going to be something that I think you have to explore when you're doing a show about a super secret organization like this the ramifications of it I think are bigger than anyone can possibly imagine I think that um, what's great is that the Marvel Universe is all connected. So the events that happen in Captain America 2 have a significant impact on actually the Marvel Universe as a whole, the Marvel world. So these, the events that, that uh, take place in Captain America 2 make the world that we inhabit completely different. So you see our episode 16 on Tuesday, you see Captain America 2 premiere on Thursday, and then you watch our show again the next week, and it is a different world in which we inhabit. Same characters, but it's a different world now because of the events that happened in the movie. So I, I think that that's just, first of all, a cool like crossover thing that just hasn't ever happened before. This Marvel Universe thing is all connected. That's great. That's just incredible that all these things talk to each other. Um, but uh, but second of all, I, I, it's just uh, it's just incredible to be a part of something that changes and evolves so much. We have a great back half, man. I can't wait. Gosh, oh, I am in love with the fact that we have such a huge international audience. It's so much fun getting your tweets. I wish I could speak or read Spanish a little bit more. I'm going to learn to read Chinese more, too. <laughs> but it's, it's really amazing to be on a show that has such a universal appeal. It's felt so organic. Um, Coulson, Clark, I don't even know their names anymore. I can't even tell the difference between reality. I don't know what universe I'm in. Um, Clark is has been such an on and off screen mentor for me. I, you know, this is a, it's not easy um, shooting a network TV show, and um, uh, it's it's a lot of work. And he's been a huge help for me in terms of growing as an actress and growing on screen um, as Sky. So it's it's it feels like he, what he, what he's doing for me on screen besides the near death experiences he's doing for me off screen. I knew it would be a crazy ride. Uh, I knew it'd be huge because of Joss and Marvel and Jeff Loeb and. Jed and Marissa, so I knew it would be big and a lot of hands having different ideas of what it would be. Um, but I knew it would be an exciting opportunity, chance to make a really cool TV show, which is really what we tried to do.